Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the design and the setup of the login and sign up page for the authentication we have seen, right? Now, in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to set up the UX thing, UX authentication. So, we will be using for authentication UX state management. So, as we have learned in the previous videos, so we have learned the UX state management, right? So, we will use the UX state management here for performing the authentication thing. So now for doing this VOX authentication, let's try to set up this one. So what we need to do in the source here, I need to create a folder with the name store. And in this store, what I will be having is, I will be having another one modules. Okay. In this module, I will be, I will be creating another folder auth. So we are doing it, perform, we are dealing with the auth, right? So that is the reason I created auth. And in this auth, I can create index.js so this is the module now in the store what i will try to do i will try i will create store.js so this is the main store file here what i will try what i will do before trying before this one we will try to install the ux ux at the rate next so this is the command for installing the ux the ux in our project so let it install it will take some time ux has been installed in our system in, in our project now here what i will try to do i will create constant store is equal to so one object and here uh, i will export default store i will export this store and now what i what i need to do here create store i need to use the create store and this create store takes the object now what is the object so first one will be the modules so now modules i need to do the module auth auth i need to import now here I will be creating the auth index.js. Here I can do export default. And in this one, it will be having first one will be the state. Written state like this, written thing. And we will be having the mutations and getters. Getters. And also another one will be the actions. So these are the three things you will be having. Some projects what they will try to do is they will try to create here mutations.js okay and here another one getters.js and last one is actions.js actions.js and here in this one what we can do these getters will have export right now we don't have anything so export default it's an object and in this one mutations also export default and this one is also an object and another one is the actions actions also export default and this is an object so these are plain objects for right now so here what i can do these are mutations it will extend the mutations i can remove this one all so this one will be imported from those files here what i can do import mutations from mutations okay dot mutations in the same scenario what i can do import actions from actions so this is this one is also one of the actions and here another one is import getters right getters from getters so these are the three files we have imported so you can write directly here if the name and the file name is same means so you can uh, if name means you can write like this if they are different means we can write like this also so if both the key and value are same means we can remove this value and we can directly place it like this okay so these are the three things we have imported now let's go to the index.js for index.js we have this one right so now here i can write name is equal to state lila or something like this i have I have created one variable now what we need to do we can we can namespace this one namespace is equal to true so that these things will be namespace we, these all things will be namespaces namespaced okay now in the store.js what we are what we can do is we have imported the module auth so now if i go here if i want to import what i need to do here import auth from so where it will contain in the modules slash auth slash index we need to import the index so these are the store how we have created now we got the uh, create store and all those things now we need to add this create store in the main.js so we have just set up the store only now we need to add it in the main.js so here what i can use app.use of 
store so directly so we have, i have used this app dot user store now we have successfully set up the connected the store to our project now let's check that whether the store is connected or not now here let's try to run the server npm run sir let's check whether we have any errors or not so far we don't we didn't get any errors now let's try to check the output so if i try to check the output we didn't get any output login is working let's try to check that uh, check the store and we use it in the login dot view so login dot view here and if you want to connect the store what i can do is computed i can use the computer directly and here i can use map state and that map state it should be imported from ux right so this should be imported and i need to get the state right map state i can use this map state and here i can add map state okay first one will be the namespace and next one will be the object right now what is the uh, first uh, thing why we are having here so we here we are having the map state right so we imported from this map state from the vuex so what could be the name in the uh, we need to go to the auth.js so in the store in the modules in the auth in the index you will be having here the name so we need to use this name so let's go to the let's use this name now go to the login dot view here the name the name the name name will be the module name auth and here we need to use the name so whatever the name you want you can use it here and the state it goes to the state dot name okay so here i can use i can use it whatever the name you want to if you want you can use it as a first name also you can use it as first name also not a problem so this name is not mandatory so if i want to use this one i need to use this one here so here i can write it as first name so here let's try to check the output now here i am able to get the state lila so that means the state we have been successfully connected okay now the mapper parameter must be either an array or an object it is saying okay so what is that problem so let's check in the vuex thing so if i refresh this one we are not getting any error so not a problem so hope it's not a problem so path means uh, for the home page we didn't given the path so that means we can uh, we can assume it we can write it like this so map state auth first name we have got it right so now if i try to refresh this one so we are able to go to the login okay i am able to go to the login and i am able to get the data here state lila so this is how we we have successfully connected this one so if i go here and index it and if i change it to only leela okay so if i change it to leela web dev let's try to check once again so now here i am able to get the leela web dev so this is how we will be uh, connecting the store to the project okay in the next video we will try to do the login authentication thing and we will try to save the data in the ux state management okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video Please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.